Well, what we do here in Alterna, we have basically two programs. We have an in-house technology development program where we are being some sort of like intra-entrepreneurs. So we are developing our own uh, technologies and our own business models. Uh, in Alterna at the moment, we are working with efficient wood stoves. The outcomes of improved stoves are incredible. Um, depending on what country you're in. So diarrheal diseases is a huge killer of children under five, but also has acute respiratory infections, which is caused primarily from smoke in the kitchen. Population growth is related to child survival, and education is, of course, related to health. A family can save money by buying less firewood, because they buy less firewood, they don't need as much wood, so the forest is, is left where it is. Um, and then families can hopefully spend more more of that resources on on things like like books and so it's yes it's yes it's a stove um, but I mean that means a a better stove that that won't burn you that will get the smoke out of the house and will help save money is a huge deal to more than half the population. Biodigestion systems uh, are widely known in Asia. Uh, there are around forty million of small-scale biodigestion systems installed. The smallest one that we've got right now, which is the Urban Digester, is about a cubic meter in volume. Um, that one consumes four to five kilograms of organic food waste a day, so that's kitchen cuts, kitchen scraps. The basic concept is you, you grind the, your food or your fuel source, you mix it with water, you add it into your system, If your system is large enough per family size, you're able to cook almost completely with, with biogas. And for every liter that you add, the same amount comes out and it's fully digested organic material which can be used as fertilizer. The second unit is a much larger scale unit, it's for um, places that have the space to be able to dig a trench. And this one can go from four liters all the way, or four cubic meters, all the way up to thousands and thousands of liters. Well, I, I grew up in Alberta, and the main motivator for me to come down here and work on this was my experience in the oil and gas patch in uh, my early 20s. I saw some of the most unbelievable environmental tragedies you could imagine. And so I started to get interested in green energy. I really started to get connected to the, the alternative energy world and clean technology and I really started to see that there was a potential. And I'd come home and I'd talk to my friends and they'd be like, oh this should be done here and we should do this and we should do that. And, and it was just it was like dinner conversation every week. It was the same conversation but on a different topic and it was over and over and over and over again. I got so frustrated with it. I quit my job. I honestly believe, regardless of whether I'm in this sort of market or not, I really believe that this has nowhere to go but up.